Breaking news tonight, a derailment and major fire in East Palestine, Ohio. That's about an hour northwest of Pittsburgh. The city of East Palestine is asking people there to shelter in place. All right, we have some video we can show you from Facebook. This was shot by Denny Caldwell tonight. You get an idea of how big a fire we're talking about. Flames just lighting up the night sky. It's not known what the train was carrying, but there are early reports that it was flammable. Uh, that may seem obvious from this video, but we are only going with official information at the moment, and we've yet to get that confirmed. Let's bring in KDK's Lauren Linder now. She's on the road and on the phone with some more information for us. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Ken. We're on our way to East Palestine right now. We are probably just under 30 minutes away, and... Uh, right now, here's what we know uh, from at our sister affiliate out of Youngstown, Ohio, WKBN. They're saying that emergency crews are on the scene of a building fire that was caused by the train derailment in East Palestine. And at this time, police are not sure what is inside the building or what the train was carrying. It's obviously also uh, unclear how many people may have been aboard this train um, or if there's anybody injured. But police right now, uh, we know, are evacuating residents from their homes within a one-mile radius of the fire on both East Haggard and East Clark Street. Uh, obviously, there's been explosions coming from uh, this train derailment, as you can probably see on your screen with the flame shooting in the air. East Clark uh, right now, though, runs parallel to the train track along East Haggard, and that's the reason why they're evacuating that area. As we are uh, heading along the highway, I do see some, what may be some big smoke clouds in the air, but it may not be. It may be actually from the shell plant that we are right next uh, door. Yeah, I see, actually now see the lights from the shell plant. Um, but we are on our way. We're under a half an hour away, and... We'll try to get some more information for everyone once we get out there. For now, back to you. Okay, Lauren Linder, thanks so much. I want to bring in Ray Petlin now. And before we get to the brutal temperatures, we'll look at what Ray is seeing from that fire on the weather radar tonight. Ray. Yeah, uh, the, the weather radar, you, you know, you oftentimes think of it just looking for precipitation, but it scans and can hit anything in the atmosphere. When you have a big smoky fire like that one in East Palestine, it can send smoke plumes up into the atmosphere that get picked up by a radar. And that's what we're seeing here. And, and a lot of times you think, hey, this is over in Ohio, but Ohio touches Beaver County. And this smoke plume actually pushed down into Beaver County towards South Beaver, out towards Darlington. Now, over the past few frames of this uh, radar loop, you can see how that smoke seems to have been dissipating at least the smoke that our radar can see. So certainly Beaver County, you should pay attention to this story because there has been some smoke from that incident blowing down into Beaver County and as far at times as the Beaver Valley Expressway, which is just south of Beaver Falls. That's how far that smoke has pushed from the Ohio line into Beaver County.